welcome, 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 welcome. Now, okay. Yes, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Uche, good morning, Dr. Chibuke. Good morning, Rutuni Longreach. Good morning, Tell James. Good morning. Welcome to every single one of us. I'm really excited to have us live. So we are starting in the next two minutes. Two minutes. Let me get the live. Yes, we are live. So we are live on my page. I'm about to get the link for us, please. And now we're live on Facebook. Now we can start fully because we have more crowd on Facebook than this capacity can contain. Good evening, good evening and welcome. So we're live on Facebook, please. I just posted the link. You could copy it and share. Please can someone post the link on the group, on the comments for me put the link so that you could share it. Now, my name is Dr. Esther Ujotai. I like to call myself the healthy dose queen, but I'm also a partner with Longreach. And so this particular company called Longreach Bioscience International is an amazing company. Please, the link is, okay, it's not showing. This company is an amazing company that has um to partner with the company they much more to have talented scientific individuals doctors join this particular scene today join this particular show to educate us we all know that supplements are amazing now a very quick introduction to this series this series is happening for four fridays all in september every friday by 6 p.m so you come online you come you join the link or you watch on facebook you share to your group why are we having this series it's because we know that supplements are healthy supplements are any substance that you add food or to your ingredient or to your body to enhance your living or your health or your well-being and we also know that most of the supplemental nutrients can be gotten from food but not all of them can be gotten from food we can't get all the supplements we need in a specific diet. Hence, we tell people you can take supplements. But just like supplements have a good benefit, it also has people have misused the benefit or have called different names. So I have different doctors here, not just me. I am one of the hosts, Dr. ID Uso, the star director one. Hello, ma'am. Let's see your face. Dr. ID Uso is also the co-host but today she is in the panelist she is one of the panelists she will be answering your questions she will be talking to you she'll be teaching you and she'll be educating you from her background of different researches she has done then the second person we have here hi good to see you doctor that's our sd <laughs> hello everyone hi hi good to see you all Good to see you, ma. Welcome today. Welcome. Okay, so we have the second doctor in the house. This doctor is a friend from for over five years, six years. <laughs> I like her so much. She's very beautiful. She's very godly. Her name is Dr. Etewa. Please, baby girl, show us your face and say hi to the house. Are you there? Is she there? Yes, yeah, she is. We could see her face now. Okay, good evening, everyone. Good morning. Good evening. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> yeah. uh, please permit, permit. That's a very big mistake. Please, good morning, everyone. Uh, shout out to good Dr. Evening. Esther. I don't tie for putting uh, this together. And Dr. Uh, and ID, too. And Dr. ID, yes. Dr. ID. Yes. It's a pleasure okay, to so be here. Thank you. 
Yeah, welcome, love. Welcome. I really appreciate this. This has been amazing. And I want to tell, start now to say thank you, Dr. Aidi Uso, for bringing all the energy to make this possible. So let's just go straight into this, into this. But before we, we move forward, we'd like to know if you could hear us very clearly in the comments below. We would like to know if you could see us clear. Would let know that in the comments. Then also a quick disclaimer: we are not claiming that we produce the product or we made the ingredients. We are not trying to tell you take this medical advice in place of what your doctor has said. Not at all. We are bringing a medical perspective, the scientific research we have done, and we are also telling you that this is what you should do in this condition or not this condition, because we support preventive health with supplements. We do not publicize curative health with supplements. So we need to have that background before we move ahead. I hope we are, on the, we are all on the same page. So thank you. Uh, before I move forward, I would like to read, let's welcome Dr. Aidi Uso. Dr. Aidi Uso, is an academic, Dr. Idoroyen Hilary Uso, pardon me, is an academic, a scientist, a researcher, a wife, a mother, health activist, and an entrepreneur. She obtained her first degree from the University of Uyo in 2004, where she graduated with first class honors in biochemistry. She immediately proceeded to the UK for further studies and in, 20, in 2007 obtained a master's in biotechnology and in 2012 obtained a PhD in biotechnology with emphasis on molecular enzymology all from the University of Manchester. Dr. Aidi Uso has always been fascinated with health and nature. Her long-term career, career goal is to build and run a best-in-class research center in Nigeria. In her quest for generating funding to her dreams, to her dream research center, she found the long -reach business platform and then decided to quit her job as a lecturer in a university mm -hmm. in Nigeria to focus on growing business enterprise through the long reach platform. Through the long reach platform. Okay. Dr. Uso has high next high invaluable research and development skills and proficiency to impact global long reach, the global long reach platform by creating tools that enhance and simplify team duplication. She has developed several product catalogs of long reach, elucidating on the science behind the efficacy of the active ingredients. She is also right. credited for developing the long reach three times three three by three master strategy time a table that eases the understanding of the marketing platform. That has really helped my team. Dr. I.D. Uso is a one-star director with Longreach International and a leader of the Longreach Dynasty team with over 18,000 members drawn from all facets of life. She's happily married to Mr. Caleb Uso and they are blessed with wonderful, two wonderful children, Joshua, and Zara. Let's welcome Dr. Aidi Uso again. Thank you very much. Thank you. you All right. You're so, welcome. Thank you. Let's welcome our second panelist today. Dr. Udwak Eteya is a hardworking and enthusiastic medical practitioner. She holds a master's degree in health management. She has over eight years of clinical practice and has worked closely with international organizations in strengthening health and care delivery system in Nigeria. She's a co-founder of Prime Healthcare and more in initiative fee and 
pardon me, Prime Healthcare and More Initiative, PHMI, an organization focused on the health of women and children. In order to diversify and create alternate streams of income, she is currently partnering with a global brand called Longreach International. Dr. Udrak Eteka is also passionate about family. She's happily married to Mr. Eteka Joshua, and they are blessed with Chanel, their child. Welcome again, Dr. Udra. Your mic is muted. Thank you very much, Dr. Esther. Uh, once Thank again, it's a very big pleasure to be here with us. Yes, it's going to be. So let's go straight to the nitty gritty. We have 30 minutes each. We'll pick the first uh, panelist. You talk about the first product, we pick the second, talk about the second product, and we go over that, that way. So today we are going to be talking about energy pots, long rich nutri V, and long rich vintage liquor. Then we're talking about all the baby series. So that's just what we're going to be talking about today in this first series. Then we'll continue with subsequent products in the other series. So, my, let's start with you. Let's start with your thoughts on the health benefits of supplements, basically, before we go straight to long supplements, Dr. Aide Uso. Okay, um, basically, uh, <laughs> I am a big fan of um, nature and natural products. So when you're telling me supplements, I am not one to take, I don't take medications, I don't like drugs, I don't like anything that involves swallowing. But when I have an alternative that requires boosting or when I have something that can give me most of the things that will help me prevent the need for the whole injection drugs, I will, I will jump at it. It's very obvious that based on our kind of food, the nature of food we have, especially in this part of the world, we don't actually get a balanced diet. It's very, very obvious, you know, and um, Poverty is even making it worse for a lot of people. And that's where there's need to supplement. You know, pregnant women, we don't get, we don't really put much attention on nutrition in Nigeria and in Africa as a whole. And because we don't put much attention in nutrition, nutritionists literally have no jobs here. And so we just eat whatever we get. We don't get balanced diet. And as a result, our bodies, do not get the much necessary vitamins, minerals, whatever it needs to boost our immunity and to prevent us and to probably initiate self-healing. And so if we don't have that, then we're struggling. Yes. And that's why I like the fact that we have the supplements that can help prevent that and prepare you for the future, literally. So I, I do believe that supplements are good. I also disagree, like you said earlier, with abuse of supplements. You just need to take a little at a time. What do you lack? You just supplement it and you move on. The closer you can get to the raw ingredients that you need for your supplements, the better. If not, please, you can't just take any and any supplement. Take the ones that have passed several tests if possible, and have been accredited. So that's my thought, basically. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love, I love what you said about supplements healing the body because we have mm -hmm. to know that we are all made up of cells. All our bodies are made up of cells. The mm -hmm. day you, grew, you, you were born, you automatically started dying naturally. And your cells need to live. And you don't just feed yourselves with the regular, uh, uh, the way you normally feed your body. No, everything you take into your body feeds yourself and it's a deliberate and a conscious effort. So the food we take, the air we breathe, the water we drink helps to heal our body. Thank you so much for saying that. Now, before we come over to you so you could take your presentation, I just want to ask Dr. Udrag Iteka, mm -hmm. can you just briefly tell us what's the difference between medic medicine and supplements? Like, what's the difference between medicine and supplement? Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Esther. Uh, when we are talking about uh, medicine, that's a drug, um, you're, you're referring to an element or a particle, a drug that has been put together to treat. That's basically you're, you're, you're taking drugs, you're taking that particular drugs to give treatment. That means that drug is going to give total healing, either total or partial treatment to a particular ailment. But when you're talking about a supplement, 
you're basically referring to a kind of medication which you take just to boost that effect, the immune system, or to just help the body to you know, take care of itself. It's not going to treat particularly an element, an ailment. It's just going to help yeah, to, that's... you know, it's just going to further help the body to um, tackle a particular ailment or not also. Okay, so that's the difference between uh, a medication and a drug and a supplement. Dr. Esther. Thank you so very much. Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you very well. Thank you so much for saying that. Now, like you just said, Okay, I think we've just lost um, her internet has just disconnected. So we will wait until she joins us. Yeah, so we seem to have lost the internet connection. Yeah. Please, let's just be patient for the host to return. Uh, I guess she was knocked off by the internet. So we'll just be a little patient for her to return. Welcome back, Dr. Esther. Thank you. Thank you so much. I can hear everyone now. I'm good. So my, you could take over the floor. Network knock me off. All right. Okay. Then. So we, we will uh, we will continue. Thank you very much. All right, everyone. Um, so we're going to be talking about some products today. As you all know, we have a lot of long-reach um, products. So we will just take our time um, and go through every one of them for the next couple of weeks, as our host already said. Uh, I'm gonna get started now. So please permit me to share my screen. I will need my screen to continue the conversation. Just a minute, please. Okay, so um, we're good to go. So we, we, I've already been introduced, so we'll just go straight to the next. So today, um, please let's not draw on the screen. Somebody's already drawing a very mounts, mounts, nev, please. <laughs> okay, so we may have to remove this person called Mount Nev something. Uh, sorry about that. When they draw on the screen, we can't see. Mount Neverest. Have you removed him? I'm trying to look for him. Yes, I have. I have. Okay, thank you. Sorry about that. OK, so we'll continue right away. So this is my table of content. I'm going to, first of all, do a general introduction, because this is our first episode. And then we'll talk a bit about the Long Beach R&D. And then we'll go through the products of the day. So. Um, who is Longreach? For those of you who are joining us for the first time or who may not know who Longreach is, I'll just do a bit of an introduction. 
Language is a 34 year old manufacturing company based in China. Um, they have a state of the art manufacturing plant. I wrote there in brackets, Industrial Revolution 4.0. You could do a, you could, you could just do a bit of a Google search. Google is our friend to find out what Industrial Revolution 4.0 means. This state of the art manufacturing plant was launched in 2013, and it was so good that it actually serves as a tourist center in China. So you want to see what it typical a state of the art manufacturing plant is you go to our plant in Jiangsu you pay money and you're taken on a tour you know largely automated amazing um, equipment imported from all over the world majorly Germany you know so it's an amazing 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 factory um language is not just a manufacturing company they are into r d they do a lot of research and as a result they have a lot of patents in um, the ones that they have already gotten and the ones that are waiting approval they send this in as regularly as possible so they've got 36 patents on invention many countries and they have a lot of patents, four patents on utility, and some more are waiting approval for some, so many more. Our chairman is a very handsome, cute politician, Zuzi Wei. He's, an, he's a senior economist. Yes, he's very, very cute. He's really cute. Like when you see him, you know he's cute. Uh, he's an entrepreneur, he's a philanthropist. Um, he's an amazing person with a heart of gold. Uh, Longridge is, um, is involved in what we call original equipment manufacturing and original design manufacturing. So OEM and ODM. So they don't just manufacture. You don't just bring your formula and tell them manufacture for me. You can actually just walk to Longridge and say, I want this, can you research and produce for me? And you know, you go into the whole contract manufacturing agreement and you want the OEM or the ODM. They have so many clients as well. And they have a lot of business models. So they're not just into manufacturing, they're diversified. They've diversified into, like we've talked about tourism, they've diversified into real estate. They even have financial institutions, literally all over. So they're massive. They've got spa, they've got traditional supermarkets, one which is not, is just beyond manufacturing. And like I already said, they are into research and development. They have eight research and development centers, most of which are among the largest and most advanced even in mainland China. So this is who Longridge is. Now I'm going to tell you why I chose Longridge briefly. The first time I got, I, come, I came across Longridge was because of the Longridge toothpaste. I was given the toothpaste at the time. I had a bleeding gum. I have had dental issues all my life, but it's usually related to gum issues. So I've had my gums excised a couple of times. I haven't really had a, a tooth pulled out, but it's usually getting gums excised, injected and all of that. So I literally had my, my um, seat in my dental office, my dentist office. I used to see a dentist every two weeks. Um, I had a tartar, so you had to scrape it up as regularly as possible. So I just had serious gum issues. And so when I first used the Long Beach toothpaste and um, I got some form of relief. First, pain gone. Second, bleeding reduced. I couldn't believe it. Now, this is me who has like, at every point in time, I had up to five different kinds of toothpaste at home because I just had to keep trying to find one that can keep down the bleeding and keep down the inflammation while I continue to see my dentist. So when I got this one that seemed, in quotes, to work, I quickly um, looked at, I picked at it, I look at the long reach toothpaste, I'm like, no, there's something wrong. And my research instinct kicked in. I picked the pack and I looked at the ingredients immediately. And I, what I did was I told you I had several others around me. So I picked the several other toothpaste around me and I did a comparison in the ingredients and I found some very unique ingredients in long reach toothpaste. That was one of the reasons I fell in love with long reach. I didn't start the business immediately though. But then I started using the toothpaste. I started sampling other products. I continued doing my research on the other products. I hadn't started the business at the time, but I just continued start sampling the other products. And I was just falling in love with the fact that they kept having very unique ingredients in their products compared to other products. Sometimes I'll just buy a Long Beach product. I'll walk into a supermarket and I will snap almost every similar product in the supermarket shelf, I come back home and I sit down and I start comparing the ingredients. And at every point in time, I was always impressed with the ingredients with that one or two unique ingredients in the product. And then when I finally joined the business, I started doing the business after 14 months of using the product. 
I decided to do a little more research on who the company is, you know, what they do. And I found out everything I've read out for you. And I think about a year later, I actually visited the factory myself. I went to China on an all expense based trip and I saw it. But while I was doing my research about the company and all, I found out so many things that intrigued me. As you've heard during my profile reading, I love nature. I am one of those people that I advocate for us going back to nature. Modern technology is amazing. Modern technology is fantastic, but we're not embracing it right. We're not supposed to get rid of the old and in with the new. It's supposed to be a merger. And that was one of the reasons I was incited. I was just thinking I need to have my own research center because I believe there's no new information on earth. Every information we have today, be it by pharmacologists, by whoever is formulating the supplement, the drugs that we're taking today, it comes from an intuition from what our forefathers did. Now, Longridge have always wanted to study traditional African medicine. What, are, what was it? How come these people just knew what to administer for different kinds of things when there was no modern medicine? How did they know the traditional African medicine? And it was very rich. It's still very rich. In Lagos, I mean, I lived in Lagos and I heard this so many times. People go to the hospital, they come back and they must still take their abo to do the final cleansing. That's because there's something about the product, the, the traditional medicine that stands out and that's unique. While I was doing my master's in Manchester, we did something about um, uh, personalized medicine. Why would we need personalized medicine if everything was good? We need personalized medicine because even our bodies are not accepting the new. So why do we completely throw out the old when we have the new? I have nothing against medicine. Like Esther already said in the disclaimer, we need to go to the hospital when they, we need to do uh, curative. But I believe in preventive. And so for me to believe in preventive, you can prevent with food, you can prevent with nutrition. If you know that when I, when I did my first degree, um, research, the first DB project we did. When I did my first DB project, it was related to diabetes with bitter leaves, sense leaves. I had fun. We did play around with rats, we extracted, we did a lot, you know, and then of course, moving on to my master's and PhD, I played around a lot with molecular enzymology and proteins, extraction and all of that. It made so much sense to me that if I can do this on plants around me, identify what their active ingredients are, what makes it the plant, what made our forefathers use this for this or that or that? Then I'm just providing information that pharmacologists can play on. And that is one thing I've always wanted to do. So when I found out, now that was exactly what Longridge was doing, I fell in love. Longridge literally brought modern technology to traditional Chinese medicine. They've not let go of traditional medicine, just, they just brought modern technology to it. Yes, traditional African medicine may have had its setback, just like traditional Chinese medicine had its setback. But with modern technology, you can do isolations and you can get the right thing needed for the right people and you can still go back to nature. We don't have to deal synthetic. This is the reason I chose language because through the research I did through the products and the fact that the products were amazing, every single product I bought at the time was good and they had some unique ingredients, some unique ingredients that even here in Africa our forefathers used. I remember the first time I tasted the coffee, I hated it. Why? Because it had the palm kernel taste. We know palm kernel, we know Mayam. I grew up that in that place is called Mayam. My mother, if you have headache, Mayam. If you have cough, Mayam. Everything in this world is that palm kernel oil. That's what they use for us. Some of us can actually relate with it. You know, it was very annoying. And so imagine testing, imagine when you feel like, oh my God, you have actually overcome. You've run away from something. And then you suddenly start tasting it. I got, it was so funny, really. But and then I fell in love because language actually put in palm kernel oil in the coffee. That explains, that explains the immune boosting effect. That explains the energy boost, explains so much. If my mother knew so much about it and was always, even, even newborn babies they, in the night when they want to massage newborn babies, it's in my arm. Why? It had some health benefits, right? So that's the point. And so I love language and I fell in love with language. Let's talk about Longreach R&D. We talked about having eight research and development centers, and I've told you that Longreach brought modern technology to tradi tra tra traditional Chinese medicine. So they literally know that we are evolving, 
but they know that there's so much tra traditional Chinese medicine that modern medicine is yet to offer us. So they are deciding to carry on in-depth research, in-depth research on these herbs, these roots, these plants, these fungi, whatever it is that has always been used for one thing or the other, carry out research, isolate the active ingredients, reformulate it. We have the technology now. We don't need to throw them away. And the Long Beach is trying to say, you know what, things are getting so bad. We don't need to continue doing chemicals, chemicals. They want to take us back to nature. They don't, they don't want us to throw away nature completely. So Long Beach tries to replace every chemical or synthetic component in our products with the natural alternative where possible. And that is when I fell in love with the active ingredient I was seeing in the products. Now, I would like to use this, uh, this time to correct a misnomer. We always say all Long Beach products are organic. That is wrong. All Long Beach products are not organic. An organic product means that it is manufactured from 100% natural ingredients. And there's no ingredient in that product that is chemical or synthesized. And we know that that's not true. A product that is 100% organic has written on the product 100% organic which means everything, including the preservative, if at all include, is uh, available, including the coloring, everything is natural. So our products are not 100% natural, but they are largely natural, and the active ingredients are always natural. And that's what stood the toothpaste out for me. That's what stood the, stood the soap out for me. And as you're going to see, across every product we're going to talk about, you're going to see that there's one natural ingredient there that does the job of the chemical components elsewhere. So Long Beach keeps saying, I'm going to do a research. I'm going to find what is a natural alternative I can use here to reduce the amount of exposure to chemical products, to synthetics. If it's not natural, it can't be the same. And that's the idea. So every single Long Beach product has a lot of years of research put into it before it's manufactured. So no one actually just manufactures Long Beach products without research. All Long Beach products you're seeing today, they don't just come out of the out from nowhere. Long Beach, all the research carried out and paid for by Long Beach, Long Beach Bar Science. And that is one of the reasons I think you should pay attention to this series and understand why Long Beach products stand out. And that is what we're here to do. These are some of the research centers I wanted to, I mentioned we have. We've got one in America, all run by experienced doctors and professors, by the way. We have the one in America, we have the one in Japan, uh, we have one in France, and then we've got five in China. Now in China, we've got two of them that are strictly for postdoctoral research. Postdoctoral research, that means you got a PhD, you can't work there. In fact, 35% of the Long Beach workforce, out of over the 10,000 employees they have, 35% of their workforce is for research, and they are mostly postdoctorate uh, post degree holders. They are mostly experts in different fields with several years of experience. Well, the person heading our US Research Institute has decades of experience with a popular cosmetic industry in the US. So that tells you that Long Beach takes its time to source out the right brains to have the research in all their products before the products are manufactured. And that is another thing. They have different researches, different um, research centers for different things. You can see the one in Xinhua is for Chinese herbal medicine. We've seen that there's one in Jiangsu, which is for cotton edge technologies, which is like the more recent ones as well. I remember we also get utilities. So we get patent on utilities. So we also have those researching on technology and utilities. As you're going to see in one, some of our slides, you're going to see something like the robot arm. We've got, we own a patent on that. And that is one particular utility that makes the Long Beach factory in China stands out. So I needed to take us through this introduction so that we can have a background of why we are in love with language products and why we talk about language products like never before. These are some of the people we have manufactured for. Some of the people that we have had patent contract manufacturing, some of our contract manufacturing clients that we have had deals with. I want to show you this so that you have an idea of the people that patronize the language manufacturing plants in China and people that also patronize our research centers from which the language products that we use currently in Nigeria, in Africa, and globally are manufactured. 
So if these people stand for quality, then we stand for a lot of quality. And that's what I also want to talk about. So we have several products across about eight different ranges. We have the healthcare, the daily cosmetic, the household, the skincare, the health machinery. But today we're talking about four products. And I'm going to start with the Nutri-V Rich and I'll walk us through the rest of the product. So Nutri-V Rich, I call it the raw food revolution. So this is what is really raw food. And you can see what they write there is nutritious prepared. It's like a cereal food. It's got a lot of cereal. Um, it's a meal replacement. So it contains varieties of raw food in a meal. So we've got different kinds of varieties, raw food, grains, algae, fresh vegetables, fruits, seaweed, mushrooms, name them. It gives us a full range of vitamins, minerals, chlorophyll, dietary fiber, trace elements, things that we need to supplement the things we do not get in food. The ingredients you get in our nutrient rich are blended in scientific proportions to maximize the nutrient content we are unable to absorb through normal meal, literally. And um, the preparation to retain the nutrients is using vacuum freezing and dry grinding technology, which is one of the most recent technologies, by the way. Uh, Nutri-V Rich is the, one of the organic products with an organic stamp on it. It's 100% natural. There are no artificial flavors. There are no colors. There are no activist, additives. Everything is 100% natural, which also explains the lifespan. Okay, we have a lifespan on Nutri-V Rich for 12 months. But once opened, you can't leave it for more than 24 hours. Once the sachet is opened, you can't leave it for more than 24 hours because it's 100% natural. So there's no preservative in it. So this is just a, a, a diagram to show you examples of the kind of content. When we get back to the content, we have two kinds of nutri rich currently in Africa. We have the blue, we, we call it nutri -V blue. So it's got the blue packaging, which is this one, but it's actually a nutrition shake misc, mix. Ashiru, Adebu, you're drawing. Please, can we stop drawing? So we've got the nutrition shake mix. This is nutritive for everyone. So it's like really nutritive for everyone, including also special, in fact, most especially also patients, because you don't get to get a balanced meal. You're selective and all that, so this helps. Now we've got the nutri very rich pink. It's called the slimming shake mix. Mostly for those who want to lose weight, it's got less ingredients and targeted ingredients for diabetics, hypertensives, and the people who want to lose the weight, basically. Now, I decided to do a full ingredient list of our Nutri-V Pink, which is the Slimming Shake Mix. This product has over 70 ingredients in one sachet. So no matter how deficient you are, you are certain of a balance. It has over 70 ingredients. And ideally, Ideally, I will talk you through every single ingredient because these are ingredients that are things that we use in traditional African medicine, in traditional Chinese medicine. These are products we use regularly. You eat watermelon, you take pumpkin, but we don't take the seeds. There, there's research that the seed, is, um, the seed of watermelon is healthier. There's research that the seed of papaya is healthier. Long we just carefully picked all these ingredients. Moringa, uh, snow lotus, wheat jam, we have the whey protein, we have the soybean, we have the brown rice, the black bean, different products, a lot of fruits, all blended together. Ingredient nutrients retained. All you just need to do is pour into warm water, milk, juice, shake it up and drink. And you've had your suitable meal replacement. You can do a screen grab, do a screenshot, take your time, go on Google and find out the benefits of these. And you will understand why we all need to take Nutri-V. Now, this is the pink. Some of the herbs listed here are herbs that have been used traditionally to treat successfully diabetes, hypertension, and, uh, weight, and people that have also used it to lose weight. So when you look at each of these all put together, anyone that has similar health condition can supplement with this so you're taking your hospital med your treatment you're seeing your doctors regularly but you supplement with the nutri v because whatever your doctors give you don't no drug is going to have all of this in one so the nutri v blue sorry this is a blue not a pink i, I mixed it up so this is the blue so whatever if this blue is for everyone literally everyone so it gives you 
all the ingredients you need to stay alive. Even people, there are, there's actually been a lot of research in China done with the Nutrivi Blue in prevention and in taking care of tackling early stage cancer. So like we said, you continue with your treatment, but make sure that this can be supplemented. People that are undergoing chemotherapy, they don't eat well, they don't have anything, but this can actually help them. This is now the Nutri V Pink, okay? And as you can see, it's got less ingredients. The first had 70, this has 27. And we have the mixed juice powder made from different kinds of fruits, all in one. We even have the inulin. I'm sure we all know what that does. So what I'm saying is Longreach invested energy and time. The Nutrivi rich product was researched for over 10 years before it came to limelight. It took over 10 years of research for Longreach before they were able to produce this Nutrivi rich product. So what are the general health benefits? Provides balanced nutritional, nutritious meal, balanced diet, correct balanced diet. They say we should do five for life. The fruits we saw were over 20 fruits in just Nutri-V. So how many five per day can we take? Eliminates toxins, it boosts immunity, it stimulates appetite. It's a perfect meal replacement and it's completely sealed for every meal. Just take one, pour in and drink. It's actually a fantastic meal replacement. It reduces oxidation, which of course means you can age backwards, literally. So what we just do is rations for use you just mix the powder in the sachet with 200 ml of warm water or room temperature water or fruit juice or milk. Yes, it can be taken with any of those. You can even put a bit of strawberry shake in it and drink. It's natural food. So, excuse me, you can mix it with anything. Shake well and drink. If you even want to improve the taste, you can add honey. It's still okay as well. You can take one or two sachets daily before your main meal, even though it's a meal replacement for those who want to lose weight, but for those who want to live healthy, you still need to take your main meals, okay? Once opened, you have to use it up as soon as possible. So don't open one, one carton of it and leave it on running for three months or six months. You can always place your used products in the refrigerator and use within 24 hours as well. So that's the nutri -Virage. I believe I was able to keep to time with that. I'm going to go to the next one, the products of the energy pot. Now, this is one of my favorite products, and I can go on and on for the entire day about this product, but I'll try to keep within the time. You know, this is why I picked interest in the long reach products. What we used to cook today, what we used to cook these days is appalling, literally appalling. A lot of us have gotten so modernized that we don't even know that we can use pots to cook. Some people literally cook in the microwave for 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes. You're cooking in a microwave, exposing your food to excessive radiation. Please, someone is drawing again. I'm going to have to stop and then start again so that... Um... All right, I hope this works. The person drawing can stop. Okay, so um, it was actually blocking me. Now, the next thing I want to talk about on what we cook is the kind of pot. I am blessed to be of almost 40 years of age. And I know that 30 years ago, the kind of pots we are using to cook now weren't the kind of pots our parents used to cook. They used stock pots, aluminum pots that were anodized properly. So it was still non-stick, but the method of anodization was not the coating of a black element. It was traditional coating, traditional anodization of the aluminum itself, which is like saying piling upon piling upon piling and ensuring that it is leak proof. It does not scratch, scratch free. Those are the kind of pots our, our mothers used and our forefathers used when, modern, when modernization came in, when they moved from the pots that they used to cook, when they started using modern pots, which was aluminum, but stock aluminum pots. Those pots were very heavy. But of course, nature is fading away. Things are becoming expensive. We still have to cook. And so we need cheaper pots. And what we do, we literally now use any kind of aluminum to make pots, especially in places like Africa where there is no stringent regulation. Even the aluminum sink that can be used to roof the house can be converted to a pot. Now, what are the side effects? The fact that aluminum can leach into your food while cooking, because as the heat is ap applied to the pot, you're cooking with normal heat, high heat, the aluminum is gradually eroding and leaching into the food. 
And research has shown recently that a lot of aluminum uh, in food when consumed have been linked to Alzheimer's disease. And that's not the only problem. The fact that even the food becomes acidified before you eat it is a problem. As it is already, we acidify our system with a lot of things that we consume, but adding the acidified food, so you cook food, natural food, natural ingredients, but by the time you're done, the natural ingredients are all burnt because there's no cushion, there's no induction. The pots are so thin that the heat literally goes from the fire straight to the food. So there's no cushion. So the heat applied to the food is excessive. And so what we end up eating is chaff. You can take your time and Google it. I say Google is our friend. Google the effect of aluminum on food, and then you will understand what I'm talking about. What did our forefathers use? This is what they used, earthen pots, right? But we are so modernized that some of us may not have it in our houses right now. So if some of us cannot have this kind of pot in our house right now, what's the alternative? Because this was very healthy. This was actually made through excess reheating. And so there's that in conduction, that conduction that happens. So it conducts the heat before it passes the heat to the food. There's even dissipation of heat. Even though your firewood is burning only on one side, this other side of the pot is boiling. That's because the clay allows even dissipation of heat to your food. Your food cooks evenly. But we move from there to the other part, aluminum, which is completely rendering our food unhealthy. And so language, and that's why I love language, because every single product I talk about or I see, I find out that they are trying to solve a problem. And that problem comes from being able to say, okay, there's a negative effect, let's cushion the negative effect and bring out a positive effect. So we're going to move back to healthy. And like we say, since you like modern, modern, modern things, I'm going to give you modern, and that is the classic style energy pot. Now, a lot of us see this pot and we say, oh, what an expensive pot. Or, oh, this pot is just made of, nah, it's just normal stainless steel, like I can buy another stainless steel pot. No. Long Beach pots are not just stainless steel pots. And this is also a place for me to correct the, another misnomer. Long Beach pots are not made of titanium, I beg you all, please. Long Beach pots are made of stainless steel and not titanium. High food grade stainless steel. So I corrected that second misnomer. Now let me tell you some of the features of this pot. Why I tell you that the stainless steel uh, part of it is not what makes Long Beach pot unique. Long Beach pot is made unique because it's one of the most patented product of Long Beach. It's got patent as I speak in 19 countries, this particular pot. The, it's manufactured based on harmonious energy field, also known as synergized energy generator. Now, here's the principle. When you heat up food, there's a lot of disorderly. So people that have done physics and chemistry, they can relate to it. When you heat up food, the natural energy in food gets disordered. And as, as such, it literally gets us into artificial energy. When we are eat, the food is when we are eating the food, we are not absorbing the natural energy, which is why people tell you eat natural food. The more natural, the more energy, the more this, the more that. Because application of heat literally disorders the energy and converts it from natural towards artificial energy. And now, which says, what do we do? How do we retain that energy? How do we retain it? And there's been this traditional Chinese culture. Over 5,000 years ago, um, low two and some other thing, you can also Google this information about the pot. And it's based on this, it's like a 64 energy thing from resonance. Many decades of scientific research has gone on and on about this particular traditional Chinese culture. And Long Beach finally got this culture implemented in a product and that was the energy pot. And this particular technology has Patent, has been patented. So what's the principle? Spontaneously, when you heat it up, it generates resonance that automatically gathers, integrates and enhances and amplifies all the weak and disordered natural energy in space, harmonizes it immediately, restores it, returns it into a stronger natural energy so that when you eat the food, is absorbed. And that is why they always tell you, when you cook with the pots, keep the lid on because the, the energy ball has this technology in it, okay? And in as much as this technology has been researched on by the Chinese for over 5,000 years, Long Beach has done their own R&D on this products for over 10 years. 
like I said, just for this technology, they have over 19, 19 patents in um, 19 countries have patented, and they are still awaiting in another 30 countries. And by the way, this could be updated anytime soon. In fact, because of this green technology, Long Beach was awarded, this patent was awarded Green Medicine Contribution Prize for Humans by the World Association of Natural Medicine. Imagine having transformed 5,000 years of traditional Chinese culture into a product using modern technology. That's what Long Beach did here. Okay, the test done, we did some preliminary animal tests were done, and it was shown that with this patent, you can actually in reduce the rate of hypoxia and increase oxygen levels in blood, which will increase, improve resistance to fatigue and disease. So you, when you're eating food from the energy pods, you're not just talking about the food is fresh, you're talking about the other integral benefits that come from natural energy, literally. And then of course, when you cook the food, because of these properties and because of the stainless steel property, the original flavors of the food is maintained. If you boil meat, boil chicken, boil fish in the same water, in the same pot at the same time, the taste of the fish will not touch the chicken. The taste of the chicken will not touch the food because the harmonious energy principle locks in the taste for each product, literally. And it enhances the overall taste of food. So when you cook with natural ingredients, you will understand this pot more. Yeah, like I said, the pot features is made of 304 type food grade stainless steel, that's the body, and then the compound bottom is made of 430 type stainless steel, explains the weight of the pot. It's a straight barrel kind of pot, which ensures proper circulation of heat, and because of the stainless steel material, there's some conduction done before the, food, the heat is released into the food. So the natural heat that you're using is not directed at the food and doesn't cause it to lose ingredients. The glass lid is also a transparent glass lid. So that is the ball I was talking about in the pot. So other features, it keeps food very, very fresh, the highest level of freshness. And another thing I've noticed with the pot is put oil in the pot and cover it with the lid, you come back as an emulsified bubbles. Oil doesn't bubble in normal pots, it bubbles. And that is, it's breaking it down into tiny elements. So it multiplies the fat. Now, when you slow cook, especially meat in this pot, you will see how it will retain the tenderness and texture of the meat. I know someone who doesn't, who hasn't tasted beef in several years because she does not like the way it comes out when cooked. But ever since she bought the Long Beach pot, she just keeps shouting how juicy the meat was after she boiled it with the Long Beach pot. And I don't have a pressure cooker in my house anymore. The Long Beach pot is now like a pressure cooker for me, literally. It cooks like a pressure pot. Keep the lid on. It's well sealed. Keep the lid on, put the heat down. It cooks normally as well. Saves you energy, saves you gas, and saves you time. And it's naturally non-stick. So there's no artificial, poisonous, anodized black coating on our pot. Naturally non-stick. If it burns, put water in it. Just leave it for a couple of minutes. It just peels off. That's a natural non-stick property of the natural of the long beach pot. And it lasts a lifetime. Literally lasts a lifetime. And guess what? This is all of the reasons I love it. I hate to cook. I don't know how to cook. So if you don't know how to cook, you need the long beach pot because it enhances the taste. And nobody will know that you don't know how to cook because it's going to make your food still come out fresh, tender, texturized, and yummy. Okay. Now, something happened. It wasn't a planned thing, but this has shown us the test of the quality of the sport. A lady who lives in Lagos, works in Papa and lives in Lekki, got back from Lagos traffic into her house about 11 o'clock, 10 p.m., 11 p.m. And what she does, ever since she discovered the benefits of the Long Beach pot, what she does is when she comes back, she boils her tap water in the pot. And then the next morning she fills tap into her bottles and she freezes them. And that's how she drinks and gets her drinking water because she believes that the natural energy in the water will be harmonized. Of course, the water will definitely likely be converted to alkaline and so many other functions that come from using stainless steel pot. And so she, that's what she did. So she did the same thing this night. She put the water on the fire and she went to sleep. She didn't know she was sleeping. Actually, just went up to change up and maybe she just lay down on the bed just to relax a bit and then go back downstairs. She did not wake up till 7 a.m. the following day. And what woke her up? The bell rang, her cleaner came. And because it's a cleaner, she comes in through the back door. So this lady walks down the stairs, 
opens the back door. As she's walking past the gas cooker to the back door, she realizes her gas cylinder, her gas cooker is still on. And this is what she saw. The water had dried out and the pot remained that way on fire. There was no smoke in the house. There was no fire. There was nothing. So she quickly turned it off. She was panicking when she called us. And she was saying, what is this? What is this? My house will have burnt down. She bought the house. She's living alone. I've been in the house, the massive house. Now tell me what pot you would use and you will get the same feedback. That shows you that when we say we are using top food grade stainless steel, we're using food grade stainless steel. And when something is food grade, it means it's food safe. So there's no leaching of poisonous or toxic substances into the food. So if you're thinking of living healthy, you need the long reach pots to stay healthy. Now I'm gonna talk about the last product I have to speak about for the day before I hand over to the next person. And that's the vintage liquor, the wine. And I call it sophisticated abu. Yes, I call it sophisticated abu. I call it abu that went to Harvard because Longwich took their time to work on this product, basically. So we have some active ingredients in the product. Um, like I said, when I went through the Nutrivee Ridge, they had several, I couldn't go through all of them, but we have four main active ingredients here in the wine that makes it stand out. And I'm gonna talk about it. The first is the safflower, this beautiful flower. And someone told me that they've actually seen this flower in Nigeria before. I don't know, but this is what the flower looks like. It's very rich in linoleic acid, and omega-6 fatty acid. Very rich, safflower. Safflower is a traditional, is a herb used in traditional Chinese medicine. What are traditional uses, and not just traditional Chinese medicine, I think it's used all over the world actually. It's been used to treat ather atherosclerosis. It's been used to improve blood circulation. It's been used for joint and muscle pains. It's been used for menstrual cramps, for clearing skin blemishes, for myocardial ischemia, and for fatigue. That's what they administer this for. You know how you go out and you come back and when we used to go out and come back and is that they are rubbing us ori or they're rubbing us maya. Those are the kind of things that used to happen with this safla as well. Then we also have the cortex acatopanasis, it's called wuchapi. Now it's a warm herb, warm herb. Some of the traditional uses, these are things that are in the vintage liquor. So when I say we have herbs, these are the herbs in them. It's an analgesic, it's anti-inflammatory, it's sedative and anti-stress. It reduces eternal heat. It's also used to treat arthritis or rheumatism, and it's also good in strengthening the bones. So most times it's one of those things that they apply for bone, you know, traditional treatment of bone disorders and everything. Now, the third one is papaya. Okay, we know papa. It's papaya in their language, it's papaya in our language. Both the seeds, both the bark, everything. It's a, papaya is a homology of food and medicine, and we all know that. Papaya is very, very nutritious, very healthy. It's one of those things that combines with the medicine. What is papaya used for? An aphrodisiac. So for those of us that ask, why is the wine an aphrodisiac? Apart from the alcoholic benefits, this is what gives it the aphrodisiac properties. It's also used as a muscle relax relax relaxant. Papaya is very rich in vitamins, natural vitamins A, C, and E, it's also used to lower blood cholesterol, is anti-inflammatory, relieves pain, improves digestion because it's very rich in the enzyme for pain. It strengthens bones, treats rheumatoid arthritis and all of that. Then the final ingredient is the liquor. Okay, 38% alcohol. I know what alcohol does. It can actually clear collateral channels, especially when it's natural alcohol, not processed, okay, the natural ones, and can also improve blood circulation. So when you combine this, you can get some benefits that we talk about, people that have expressed that they get from this product. For example, it can boost immunity. You've got papaya in it. You've got safflower in it. So you're certain that it can help boost immunity. We've got papaya in it. We've got alcohol in it. You can help that. It can bet that it increases libido, literally does increase libido. We've had men who took this and they had a very long lasting erection. We've had women who took this, you know, and they were super active in bed. It wasn't because of the alcohol content alone, but it was because of a combination of both. And we've also had people say that this can actually help burn chummy fat because of the fat, uh, the fat flour in it. It improves sleep. We've already had one of the products I talked about, one of the ingredients can act as a sedative. It relieves pain, including menstrual cramps. Now this I can testify. 
People have said, oh, I have menstrual cramp. I just tell them, use the long reach one. Just take a shot of the long reach one and it will simply disappear. This a lot of people are testifying to. And it's also a perfect detox. Like I said, clearing collateral channel is a function of alcohol and having papaya in it with the papain can help digest a lot of things and detoxify the system. We've got every bottle contains 500 ml of the alcoholic drink and it's got 38% alcohol. If you don't take alcohol and you still need to take this health kick liquor, you can just dilute it with water and you still take it. And also I will say this and I'll say this, please, it's a herb. If you must take alcohol, then take a healthy alcohol. This is a very healthy alcohol. Thank you very much for listening. I'm gonna hand over now to the next speaker or oh, back to you the host, because the next product of the day is the baby series. I'm sorry I take, it took a little longer than my 30 minutes, but I just needed to create the initial, um, prepare, prepare the initial um, back, background. So thanks everybody for paying attention. And I'm glad, um, I believe, and I hope you got value. Back to you, Dr. Esther, thank you. Oh my God, please, who enjoyed that training, that educative section? Can we just give her a love, a, a heart, one, 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 love, just love on her? Because truly, did you find that valuable? Are you more knowledgeable? Can you educate your prospects better? And did you know if you invited your prospects to join on this Zoom, they would just tell you, I want to buy Nutri-V. I want to buy the pot or oh, can I get a wine? And getting the three ingredients together, they already signed in. This is amazing. This is amazing. Thank you so much, Dr. ID. You are really a researcher, you know. <laughs> Thank you. That's a good one. Okay, so we have um, how many minutes to go? I hope we are not complaining about the time because okay, if no. you are, you are going to miss the juicy part about the baby series. Okay, so everybody, I'll go, um, every woman is going to give birth to a child and every her couple is looking forward for a blessing. And this is the good news. Every child today will be an adult tomorrow and every adult tomorrow will want to get married and every married couple will want to have a child, meaning people will always have children, meaning people will always buy your long reach baby series, meaning you are always in business, meaning your business have not just started. <laughs> so let's welcome Dr. Udwa very soon to come and give her presentation. Meanwhile, we've seen a lot of questions. We are taking note of the questions. We are going to answer them after the next speaker so that we do not cut the flow. So thank you so much once again, Dr. Aide Uso. You know you are just the best for this. <laughs> and we have our other panelists already that we're going to introduce them. Probably at the end, they'll yeah. just introduce themselves. But for now, let's hear Dr. Udra. Over to you, sweetheart. You're muted. You're muted, Dr. Odwa. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Esther. And Dr. Idi, you've done justice to those products you just, um, you just enlightened us on. And I'm very sure that by the time we leave this presentation today, we are going to be making use of those spots and then our prospects will be enlightened as well. Okay, I'm going to be taking us on our baby series. Um, thank God Dr. and Dr. Idea has done justice to the introduction part of language. Um, so I'll just go straight to the baby series. For me, um, I decided to join language um, via the products because um, when my sister tried to um, bring me, introduce me to the business, first of all, I, and she brought in the products, she introduced me to the long signature napkin. For me, I, I wasn't having it because I felt the products were, um, were just hyped. Um, the things that they were doing, recently I sent some products list to my colleague, a doctor also, and she said, all our products uh, basically things that can heal everything. One product will heal everything. I said, yes, because when you look into the, when you research about the ingredients of each product, then you will know very well that our product is just amazing. That one product can actually take care of a series of, of diseases. 
Okay, so when my sister talked about the language sanitary napkin, I, I tried it and it helps my menstrual cramps, serious menstrual cramps. So um, when I, I gave birth, um, just like every mother, I wanted to make sure that I use the right products for my baby's skin. Now, the skin is very, very, very important to the health of every human being. The skin, it's protect, it protects us from pathogens. And every day of our lives, we are exposed to pathogens around us. You might not see them, but they are uh, evident, okay? So it's very important to take care of the, uh, of the skin because it's, it's what apparently when someone meets you, the first thing that strikes is the skin, all right? So I, I wanted to have the best skin product for my baby. It's product that will not give me any irritation, any no product that has maybe imitations and all that. And as well, people are introducing me to semi, several products, products that are, the names are probably high and low and everything. But I, I, I said to myself, I'm going to try the Long Beach Baby product. And I'm telling you, it's been a very amazing. I've not used, if you come to my house, you don't see any other baby products from the beginning to the end. I use only language products because when I researched and I, I looked into it, I found out that it's just the best. Okay, so I'm going to be sharing my slide with us. Uh, please just a few minutes. One minute, let me look, let me check for the slide, please. So, um, so far, I, it's been an amazing time. And uh, my mother-in-law recently said um, that uh, she feels I'm using um, a bleaching cream on my baby. That how come, since the baby has been, when I gave birth to him, oh, screen is open. I hope I'm still connected. Yes, you are still connected, Dr. Yudi. But I think your network is Okay, down. please, one minute, because my... It's okay. It's I okay, we're waiting. The... Let me just pick up the phone. And... So, um... So far... Okay, so first, first of all, let me, let me, before I get to the screen, because I'm still checking for it. Um, okay. First of all, I'd like to bring to our knowledge the baby diaper, okay? The five dimension energy baby diaper. It's amazing, an amazing product. Um, it has different sizes, okay? And um, Okay, I think I'll just, I might just there? have to do this slide. I'm here. Okay, do you know what? You could forward your, your, your slide to me on WhatsApp and I'm going to share it live here for you. Is that okay? Okay. Yes, um, let me. Sorry, please let's um, sort this out, people. Okay, let me, go, let me just share the slide with you then. Yeah, uh, you could still be talking while you forward it to me on WhatsApp and I'm going to share it for you. Okay, so the, for the, um, I was talking about the baby diaper. Okay, so it has different sizes. And for me, when I, when I just gave birth, um, some people actually brought in different products for, for me to try, um, you know, the brands we are familiar with. And I, I, I actually used some of them, but I never liked it because my baby got 
um, started having this irritation on his anal area, on his um, perianal area, and I wasn't comfortable with it. So I had to switch totally to, to long which product. All right, um, share as PDF. I'm going to share it as a PDF file. So, um, please um, let me know if you've gotten it. I've just shared it with you. Yes, I have. I'm trying to okay. download it. Okay, so the, the, um, the language baby diaper has different sizes depending on the age of every, every child, okay? And um, it's T-shaped, like when you pick it up, when you remove one strand of it, you'll see that the, the, the it's shaped in a T-shaped form so that it can fit the baby's um, bum bum very, very, very well. And then it also has dual layers. I'll come to why it has dual layers. Then as I said before, it has different sizes. It has the small, the medium, the large, and the extra large, depending on the size of your, or the, the age of your child or the weight of the child. Okay, so for, it's, um, it's made up of non-woven fabric, okay? This fabric is non-woven and it's 100% pure cotton. This is one of the things that makes it stand out from every other diaper in the market, okay? When you pick up any other product, you will see that it's paper-like, it's very rough. But when you pick up the long witch diaper, it's smooth because it's made up of 100% diaper. And this protects the baby's skin from, um, from um, pathogens. Like I said earlier, the skin is very delicate. And we are talking of a baby here. Okay, so it's very good and to be very intentional with what you're using. Dr. Esther. And this protects the baby's skin from pathogens. I can hear you. Like I said, Okay. No, please get to the next slide. The next slide. Okay. So it, it, it protects the baby skin from pathogens. And as, well, as I said earlier, the skin is very delicate. So we want to ensure that we keep it at the normal temperature. We want to ensure that it doesn't have any irritant in it. Okay. Then it also has this ergonom ergonomic crotch cut out. What does that mean? It means that the, the bomb bon part of it is shaped. It's shaped in the sense that when you, when you once you wear it on the baby, okay, it holds the the thigh area very well and shapes it very well, so that each any child that has a tendency of having this bullet, what we call genu varum, varum, that's bullets, it can actually shape the baby's leg to be very straight, okay. So that's one outstanding thing about the long reach baby diaper. Then it also has this five um, D soft touch design, which helps to reduce contact area by 65%. Okay, in, you know, it, it took them a while before they came up with this baby product. And I think it was in 2018 that the baby product was introduced into the Nigerian market because they wanted to take time to ensure that whatever they bring into, into, into the market is going to be very effective on our babies. Okay, so it protects the skin so that it doesn't have a, a close contact with the urine and the the um, um, the feces that the child is going to pass. All right, then it's also very comfortable. The waistband does not tighten the baby's um, stomach area. Okay, so the waistband protects the baby's skin and ensures that it fits the baby very well. And it also the has this. That the child is going to pass. All right. Then Dr. Esther, are you with me? I hope we are together. Okay, then it also has this wetness indicator. That is one of the things that I loved about the long reach energy and the diaper. Because when once the baby starts um, peeing, okay, you don't necessarily need to be touching it to show it, see if it's soaked or is not soaked. The color, there's a color indicator in it. One shows you if the baby is dry, it shows yellow on it. If the baby is moderately wet, not so, wet that you have to change it, then it shows light blue. But if the baby, the color is very, is deep blue, then you will see that um, the, you will have to change the baby because the baby is probably very, very wet. Okay, so that's one of the things that keeps, um, keeps us outstanding from other, long, um, other products in the market. 
please next slide all right um what are the ingredients like i said before it has this now when when you when um, research has shown has shown that There are three kinds of okay. One of the hello, Dr. Udwa. Your network is bad. You we can barely hear you. Okay, sorry, she's just been logged out by network. Let's give her some minutes. We think in the next one minute she should be back. So sorry, people network has kept kicked her out, but she should be back soon. She should be back soon. Hello, are you there? Are you back? Dr. Yudi. Okay, so who is this person? Hello, Dr. Esther, I'm back. Okay, okay, better. Let me make you the host again. Then I have to unshare the screen and reshare it again. Can I go ahead? Um. Let, yeah, you could go ahead. You could go ahead. Okay. okay. I, I I was I was referring to the super absorbent polymer. You know when um after research and uh, it was shown that diaper rash the incidence is very very high. No matter the diaper we use, um babies always tend to get diaper rash, especially if a mother is not careful with how they are using this diaper or the, the process of changing the diaper frequently when the baby is wet. Okay, so the poly, the super absorbent polymer was introduced, one of the materials that has been shown to absorb as much as 300 times the liquid that goes into it. And just like the long beach sanitary napkin, okay, that has enough gel in it that absorbs the blood into it. The diaper also has this polymer that absorbs that when once the baby passes urine, in three seconds, the urine has been absorbed into the second layer. So it's that the baby, the skin of the baby does not have contact with the, um, the urine or the feces, okay? And then um, there is also this revolutionary channeling system. This channeling system, it's in our long reach diaper, amazing. And when you find, when you research about this, it shows that it's a permeable system that allows what it, it doesn't allow water to permeate it. 
but it allows favor, um, vapor to pass through it. What does this mean? It means that if a baby passes urine into the diaper, all right, the urine will be absorbed, okay? The urine will be absorbed through the super absorbent material. It will be absorbed in, and then the vapor is um, permeable. It vaporizes out such that the, um, the urine is there, it's not leaking out. And at the same time, it does not smell or and it also keeps the place very dry. So that is the channeling system that has been introduced into the long reach napkin so, and diaper. All right, then it, receive, it reduces the incidence of diaper dermatitis by 39%. Research shows that um, by the use of this channeling system and the super absorbent polymer that has been introduced recently, it has shown that with use of this, the diaper rash is minimized. In fact, when once you use it and you change frequently when the baby's wet, you don't have any problem of dermatitis or, or diaper rash in your baby. Okay, so that's one of the fantastic, uh, fantastic thing about the long witch napkin. For me, I love to use this diaper very, very well, especially at night. I noticed that when once I use this on my baby, I know that it's going to sleep all through the night. My baby does not wake up at night. When once, um, maybe within the night, three times he wakes up to feed. But throughout the night, he wears this diaper. And you see that in the morning, it should be heavy, right? The urine has been absorbed into the layer, but the surface part of it, the part that is in contact with the skin, is still very dry. Okay, that is one of the things that I love so much about the, the long reach diaper and it took time to come up with this product. That's why I tell people, I, I, I don't know which other diaper you use, but I cannot use any other one except the long reach sanitary um, diaper, um, energy diaper, it's amazing. Okay, then it also has um, 50 soft, uh, 5D, that's the five dimension softer that reduces skin contact, like I said earlier. It reduces the skin touch and contact by 65%. And then it's made up of 100% pure cotton. Pure cotton in the sense that it makes the baby comfortable, all right? No irritation. The baby is very, um, is very comfortable using the diaper. And like I said, when I, I gave birth, people brought in, you know, when they visit, they'll bring different types of diaper, name them, different brands and all that. I tried using the one that is very familiar. Everybody, most people use it. And I wasn't, I, I didn't like it at all. Mm -hmm. The baby would keep, you know, moving his bum bum, showing that he was not just comfortable in it. And that's because if you check out these diapers, they are made up of their paper, okay? You can compare it to using cotton, pure cotton. All right, that's why our long reach sanitary uh, diaper is the best. And then it also prevents bow leg. I, I think I, I said earlier that um, the, the bon bon part of it, the way it shapes the baby and the tight area, it ensures that any baby that has a tendency of having bow legs, it can be prevented just by using the sanitary the diaper. All right, please, can you go to the next slide, Dr. Esther? Okay, so, um, so permit me to just share with us uh, one of the things that cause, causes diaper rash and how our long reach sanitary and uh, long reach diaper has, has ensured that this is not, um, that uh, it does not happen in our own, uh, it does not, um, that diaper rash does not occur in our babies, all right? There are a series of processes that happen that uh, leads to compromised skin and then the diaper rash that occurs. Now, when you, the, uh, although diaper rash, there is really no um, specific cause of it, but there are things that has been shown to, to relate to it, which is number one of the things is um, irritation, okay? Uh, when the wetness, wetness of the anal, the um, perianal region, then uh, when you have feces, urine in it, all those things will lead to skin compromise. And when once the skin is compromised, anything can penetrate, Pathogens that have been there can penetrate, penetrate and then it will cause lead to diaper rash. So this is one of the things that causes, those are the processes that causes diaper rash, okay? So how um, the, the interventions we can do is to change the, the diaper frequently, okay? Just like our diaper that has um, color indicator, when once you see that the baby is wet, you have to change it, okay? Then you have fast urine acquisition, super absorbent polymer, just like our long reach 
um, diaper. It has this super absorbent polymer that absorbs in three seconds. Then you also apply lotion ointment. Now our long our long -reach diaper also has that gel, which is a, which also serves as a lotion. Okay, and then isolation of feces from the urine away from the baby skin. All these things are, are things that we can ensure that we prevent diaper rash. And using the, uh, the long wish uh, diaper already, we will ensure that you know the baby does not have any diaper rash. And I can tell you categorically, I've not had any issue with diaper rash. I've not had to treat him because I ensure that I change it. When once I see that the color has been changed, when once I um, in the morning, I change him also. And then I ensure that I also apply ointment. All these things are, all these things are issues, are, are preventive me methods to ensure that you don't have diaper rash. So thank you very much to Longreach for ensuring that we, you know, that our babies are comfortable. Now the next product I'd like to, um, I'd like to show to us is the corn prickly heat powder. This is one amazing product that I'm so thankful for every day. I'll give us a story. You know, um, when I gave birth, within the first uh, few months, I was in my mother's place. And unfortunately, her area, they don't have light, um, the, you know, PSCN and the Awahala. So all through the month, we were not having light at all. So we just on gen occasionally when we need it. So, and the area, the, the house was always very stuffy and it, and my baby sweats a lot. So I, I was imagining if I didn't have this prickly heat powder, what would I have done? I'm telling you that when once any heat rash just comes up, one, just one, and you apply the prickly heat powder, it disappears immediately. In a few minutes, you won't see that again. And I'm telling us categorically, the prickly heat powder is amazing. Okay, and the wonderful thing is that it's comfortable and um, any other, any, anybody can use it. Adults, a baby, a teenager, name them. Any human being can actually use this. And it's very comfortable for our baby, okay? It's formulated with mild natural plant starch, which is corn. Corn was, has been used to, you know, to come up with this product. Like Dr. Idi said, our products are made up of natural plants, natural essence, you know? They, they don't bring in chemicals into it. I know that these chemicals, they have a way of, you know, bringing in side effects. Our products are completely natural. And so they use this corn to produce the prickly heat powder. I want to show us shortly why the corn is very effective. And then it's gentle on the skin. The prickly heat powder is very gentle because of one of the ingredients in it. It's not harsh. If you are familiar with the normal prickly heat powder, when you hear prickly heat powder, you think it's hot, maybe it's going to be um, harsh on the baby skin. No, completely very mild. It's as if you've not even applied anything. No heat, no harshness at all. Okay, and then it reduces the prickly heat and itch. When once the sweat, the, the rashes comes up and the itching starts, when once you apply it, it goes. It eliminates sweat odor. For some people, you might want to apply it under your armpit to prevent sweat um, odor. So it actually eliminates odor. And then it leaves the skin smooth, soft, and comfortably dry. All right, and that is one because of the ingredients that we have in the long reach. Um, quickly heat powder. Now, what are the active ingredients that we have? We have the Z maize match, Z maize starch. Okay, it's absorbent. It's an absorbent in, in, the, in the sense that when you apply it, it absorbs the sweat, and then it's skin protective against pollutants. Remember that our skin is very delicate, and the pathogens are everywhere in close contact with our skin. But this Z maize starch does what it prevents these pollutants from penetrating. And it's also an abrasive and baby, it's safe for the baby, like I said before, and it's not, it does, it's free of preservatives. There's no dye in it. Dye, is, uh, dye can actually cause side effects to the skin. So all these, uh, the, the prickly heat powder is completely made natural from starch. All right, then we have this tri calcium phosphate. It's one of the active ingredients, which is a calcium salt that uh, acts like anti-caking. Anti-caking in the sense that when you apply the powder, sometimes the powder that you apply, it, it begins to gum together, you know, on the skin as if it's, it's a cake. 
Okay, so it's anti cake and make sure that the baby, the powder is very smooth on the skin, even when the baby is sweating. Then it also has topical zinc oxide. Zinc oxide is a one, pro, one um, amazing product that, in fact, is very, very, very key in the, in the skin. Okay, because the zinc oxide, it, it acts like an emollient, it's an antioxidant too. And it helps to pre to um, prevent to it works like a barrier, okay, preventing um, pathogens from entering the skin. So it promotes healing of the skin. If any you have any damaged skin and you apply the powder, it works effectively. It also provides barrier um, to skin from chaffing and wetness, and can be used in conditions like eczema. Um, eczema is one condition that it's very it's very common in our environment. So you can actually use this ingredient. You can use, use the prickly powder for it. And the diaper rash, when once your, your, your baby has diaper rash, probably you can apl apply the um, prickly heat powder and it will work effectively. It can also be used for bones, okay? And then insect bites. When once insect bites and you apply it, amazing, amazing product. Then it also has the active ingredient of seed oil. Seed oil is also a natural oil that has been extracted and it's an act as an antioxidant. What are acti uh, antioxidant? Antioxidant are uh, um, materials that mop up free radicals. You know that the food we eat, the things we do, the processes and all that, free radicals are emitted and these are the things that will lead to cancer, mm -hmm. that will lead to bone, to lead to several um, complications. So um, the seed oil acts as an antioxidant that keeps the skin elastic and fight against. Free radicals, all right? Uh, it can also be used to prevent and treat malaria. Malaria, excuse me, malaria is, is well, what we call, in our dialect, we call it umfade uh, bibia. That's rashes that is from, um, from sweat, okay? That's malaria. So the prickly heat powder can be used for that. And I'm a testimony of this, that when once I use the prickly heat powder on my baby, in fact, myself too, I use it. It works effectively. Now the next product we are looking at is the baby cream, the moisturizing baby cream. These are one of the, the baby series products that we have here. Now, um, just like I said before, the long reach products are made completely from natural plants. And just as the prickly heat, this one is also made from corn, gem oil, and fruit oil. Natural, natural ingredients, okay? Now, what, are, what is the corn, gem oil, which is one of the very active ingredients of the cream? It's rich in vitamin E. Vitamin E is another important vitamin that is essential for our skin. What does it do? It moisturizes the skin, okay, and keeps it supple. It supports the immune system, the cell function, and for skin healing. So you can imagine if you have bones or you have an irritant somewhere on your body, on your baby's skin, and you, have, you use the cream. All of this works together to ensure that the skin is protected and quickly heals if it had any irritation, all right? And then it, com it combats the effect of free radicals, just like um, the prickly heat. It also had the anti-vitamin E also has the effect of combating free radicals and mopping it up together. And you know, we like we now in Nigeria, um, we are exposed to sunlight, and this sunlight is impregnated with ultraviolet rays. These things, this uh, UV radiation can actually lead to skin cancer. All right, but this um, cream, which has the vitamin E in it, helps to reduce the ultraviolet light on our skin, ensuring that we don't, you know, we don't have, um, don't have so much of the, the UV from the sunlight on our skin, preventing us from having developing skin cancer, all right? And then it helps wound healing. Vitamin E is also, it's, it's like um, it's, it's a cell duplicator that it helps when once a, a skin is broken down or something, it heals very, very um, easily. A study done in 2013 showed that the vitamin E, which is gotten from corn gem oil, okay, prevents skin cancer. So when once you use this baby, this um, amazing product on your baby, you're very sure that you're using the right product. There is no 
imitation from anywhere because there are several products in the market to get today. When you want to go out and shop for your baby, you know, cream and the rest of them. We have so many, so many um, imitations from different companies and all that. So you have natural ingredients that are made into those products uh, so that when you know you, when you're using it, you're using natural products and then you don't have any issue of side effects. Okay. I also said that one of the active ingredients is fruit oil. This fruit oil is extracted from seasonal and exotic fruits. Okay. Then it also has glycerin, which is a moisturizer. Glycerin, as we all know, is a very good um, skin product that we should use. And it's good for delicate skin of babies and it nourishes the skin. Uh, my, like I said earlier, my, my mother-in-law always tells me uh, that I'm, I'm probably using one product that is bleaching my, my baby skin and that my baby skin is glowing too much. I told her, is a long which product I'm using. There's no other product I'm using. And his skin has been like that. Sometimes people say his skin looks like a baby's, uh, like a, a, a girl's skin because it glows. And it's because of all this product that I'm using on him, natural products. All right. Then it also has shea butter. As we all know, shea butter is extracted from, um, from the tree called shea. It's excellent emollient for dry skin, okay? And helps to prevent aging. It also alleviates the pain associated with tightness and itching. These are the product, the active ingredients that you see in our, in our long witch baby cream. It ensures that the baby is protected from any complication from skin. And then, um, for diseases, now when you have what you call dermatitis, okay, dermatitis, like, and dermatitis is inflammation of the skin. When the skin is inflamed due to you know, whatever that cause that leads to that leads to irritation or inflammation, it's called dermatitis. So you can actually use the screen for. Um, for a baby that has dermatitis, psoriasis is also another skin um, skin problem and also helps to prevent sunburn and fatty liver disease. Research has also shown that corn, um, corn gem oil is good for fatty liver disease. So this our cream does that magic to prevent and treat these diseases, okay? Then um, the last ingredient, uh, the last baby product I would like to talk about is the, um, the body, two in one body wash and shampoo. Okay, it's one of the uh, amazing baby series that we have, which is just similarly like the cream, it also has the corn gem oil and the fruit oil. And what it does is that it hydrates the skin. It also has this vitamin E that protects the skin from ultraviolet light. Okay, so that so that your baby is not exposed too much to the sun. And then it glows and enters the skin tone. It penetrates, and then when once you use it, it's water-based. So when, once you use it on the baby skin, it hide, as it's hydrating the baby, it's also cleansing deeply. Okay, and then it repairs damaged skin due to the effect of the vitamin E that is in the corn gem oil, and then it moisturizes the skin, like I said. Okay, so those are the the baby series that we have in long way. And I, and I always challenge every mother, if you have any baby, if you have a baby, in fact, most of these products are also used by, can be used by adults as well. So we can ensure that our baby is using natural products, products that will not cause any side effects, that will not cause hyperpigmentation or irritation on the baby skin. Products that you're very sure, the, the company has researched so much about it, and that you don't have any issue of complication or side effects. So those are, I will always encourage everybody to use this baby product. If you have not used it before, please go and order for it. Tell your prospect as well to order for baby products because it's an amazing product. As you're using natural products for your baby skin, you're also earning as well. I think that is an amazing opportunity. And I also want to really appreciate Long Reach for bringing in this product at the time at the very right time for me because i don't know if it wasn't here i don't know which other product i would have chosen because i was very reluctant about choosing any other brand apart from language so thank you very much um for your time i think this is the end of my 
um, my presentation on long reach on the big pieces. So you know what to do. Please give her a thunderous clap on the icon in the comments. Thank you so much, Dr. UD. This was a very, very, very massive, comprehensive lecture. And I love the way you came from knowing when to apply it, not as a medical um, diagnosis, but as a supplement that, okay, these are what your baby should use. And I love what you said. You said you are still going to use these things for your babies, you know? So if you are going to use them, use the right version. Okay. Thank you so much, Dr. Yudi. There was a lot of revelation there for me, actually. So much revelation, literally. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. It's really impressive. Oh, my God. And now I feel like having a baby, but I will not. <laughs> you can't have a baby. Thank you so much, Dr. Yudi. Amazing, amazing, amazing. It was very comprehensive. It was very, very, very comprehensive. And I love the way you came and tell us what to do, when not to do, even while we are taking medical care. That was amazing, Dr. <laughs> Yudi. Thank you. So before we go, we bring Dr. Ida back. There are some questions here for you. So let's just ask you now that you are still on the spotlight. Is that okay? Is that okay? Yes, Dr. ID. There are some questions for you. It's okay, right? Okay, yeah. I thought you said Dr. ID. Yes, I'm here. No, before we bring her up, let's just ask you. Someone said in the comments, I quickly hit powder. As the rashes burn, new ones keep coming out. What can be done in this case? Then. Yes, can, you repeat, can you repeat that? I didn't get that question. I used the prickly heat powder. But as the rashes bones, bones, new ones keep coming out. What can be done in this case? Okay, um, I would I would say if you have um, um, a prickly hit um, a baby rash, I, I I'm doubting if that is um, I'm doubting if that is malaria. It's more than that. Okay, for you to have a skin issue that when when once this one burns out, another one keeps um, comes uh, erupts from another place. I think you should um, take that baby to the to the clinic. Let the doctor see that baby because um, there are diverse there are diverse skin um, issues, and most of them they look similar. And then if, if they're not having the results which the prickly heat powder should do, then you might be dealing with something that is caused by a probably a viral disease. Um, because from there, it might, it might have been a viral disease that you're talking about. So that's, yes. that's what I can say. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. And uh, for prickly heat spot, for rashes keep coming out. If your child keep having it, you may want to consider the cream you are using, the soap you are using on the baby. What kind of environment are you keeping on them? And their clothes. You know, most times we do not get to iron our baby's clothes and we should, we should iron them. So it's not just about the supplements or the drugs that the doctor gives to you. It's also about the care, the personal hygiene care you give to your baby. Thank you so much for that. Please, at what point of age should a should the baby cream be used on little ones? Like which there age was? There is no age range at all from birth. In fact, I started using these products from the day that I, I, I he was birthed for the first time, and up till date, he's still using the product. So there is no limitation to the age. And, I, and you know, as well, adults can also use the, uh, the cream as well and the soap. So it's not limited to any age. Yes, I just saw on Facebook how someone said that she even used the baby cream for dandruff and it really, really helped her. Okay, so I, if you have more questions, you could drop them for us in the comments. We have a lot of doctors in the house, not just Dr. ID, Dr. Udwa, we have Joy Reed, we have Dr. Agatha. So in case we can't, we'll just, everyone can answer. But for now, and we are really, really going out of time. Let's hear Dr. ID. So many questions for you, ma'am. 
<laughs> so let's get <laughs> you here. So many questions. Is there anyone you could see so you could start but Let me. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to take a look. I've seen something here. Are you saying children of five and above can use the baby range? Of course. Anyone can use. My son is seven, my daughter is four, and I can't use any other products for them. The baby range until they become adults. <laughs> That's what I'm sticking with. Um, okay, so there are some questions here. I already wrote, that, I wrote them down. Okay, Someone asked, okay. can the nutri be rich? Can it be stored in the freezer? Sorry, can the um, pots, energy pots be stored in the freezer? Uh, I don't see why not. I don't see why not. But I'm wondering why you're storing an entire pot inside the freezer. But I don't see why not. It's it's a pot, it's a pot. Okay. Um, why does Nutri V have a short lifespan? Someone asks. Okay, I already explained it during the presentation because it's hundred percent natural and there's no preservative. So it's actually vacuum sealed. So once you open it, it exposes it to um, microbial infection. So because of that, it's got to stay sealed. And of course, when you're doing a vacuum sealing, you don't, you can't give it a long lifespan if you don't put any preservative. So that's it really. Okay, nice. Then someone asks, can ulcer patients use the wine? Well, also patients shouldn't take anything alcohol from what I know. Oh, yes, yes. So I wouldn't recommend that. If you want to take the wine as an ulcer patient, I think you should take the, the other, so you could do the nutri V first, just to cushion the effect, maybe the berry oil, and then you can just dilute the wine before you take it. But it shouldn't be something very regular, you know? I wouldn't recommend that at all. Yeah. Okay, so while you said that, let me come from the medical point of view. Um, the liver is what's uh, really, really synthesized and metabolized every alcohol you take. And whenever you are always taking any form of alcohol, be it vintage wine or other beer, your liver is always working. And for the also patient, once you are taking alcohol, with ever constituent, it is passing through your intestine, it's passing through your abdomen. And also means you have a wound on your abdomen. It is going to exacerbate any form of ulcer you have because it is acid even if uh, even our own wine is also has acid, is acid it's acidic in nature the alkaline cup is alkaline you know so my advice is if you have diabetes or sorry ulcer if you have hepatitis or you have any form of liver problems please do not take long rich wine do not do not take long rich wine if you have hepatitis, you have any liver problem, you've been diagnosed of liver cirrhosis, or you notice you used to have jaundice, like yellowish coloration of the eye. Do not take long rich wine. Okay, so let's continue. Someone is asking, are we limited to today's product? Yes, because of time. Can we just limit the questions to just this brand of products? The pots, the... What again, the Nutri V, the wine, and the baby series. So that will not stay here till the next five hours, you know. Now, next question here for Dr. ID. Dr. ID, someone asks here, <laughs> okay, is there any fibroid kits or is um, um, Nutri V Blue recommended in case of cancer treatment? Someone asks that. So. Well, I don't know about fibroid kits. I see those things flying around and I'm wondering when we, be, we started producing long bridge kits. We don't have long bridge kits. <laughs> um, so I don't think about fibroid kits. Fibroid is um, a very serious issue. We have removed from preventive. We are we need curative. So please see your medical doctor. You don't just start doing fibroid kits. I don't know about fibroid kits. Now regarding the, um, the Nutri-V Blue for diabetes, right? Um, yes, it's a meal replacement. Nutri V Blue for diabetes, I would say you show your doctor um, because Nutri V Blue is supposed to contain a balanced diet. It's got oligosaccharide in it, it's got a lot, a lot of sugars in it, and we don't know which is good for you or not. So it's better you show your doctor. The Nutri V Blue, the good thing is that the, the ingredient is written on the pack. So your doctor looks through it and can say, okay, it's okay, it's a good replacement or not. So I don't recommend that. The only thing I know is that Long Beach recommends Nutri V Pink for diabetics. So that can be taken, but I don't know if I can recommend a Nutri V Blue for um, 
for also patients, yeah, for diabetic patients rather, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, someone is asking, can we organize this again? Yes, we are organizing this every Friday, the whole of September. So you could come back again 6 p.m. Friday, the whole of September. And we are actually a little tempted, but let's see if we could cover everything in September. We would cover everything in September. Is NutriV Blue good for cancer or diabetic patients? Someone asked. Um, like, I don't know about that. The question actually, cancer. Dr. Ivy, was for cancer, not for diabetes. Cancer. You answered for, diabetes. yes. Diabetes. So please, can you answer that? Okay. For cancer, yes, yes, it's, it's good for cancer, please. It's, it's okay, it's okay. But please do not say, oh, because I'm taking Nutri V Blue, I can't do my chemotherapy or my radiotherapy or any other therapy. No, continue. The Nutri V Blue is a, like I said, people that have cancer, they don't naturally eat. So you need the Nutri V Blue as a, a very good supplementation. So, yes, it's strongly recommended, but you can also show your position just to be sure. Okay, so. I just, let me, uh, I thank you so much, Ma, for answering that. That way you are just a perfect answer, <laughs> answer bank for us. I just called you an answer bank. Someone called mm -hmm. Dr. ID, doctor of Harvard, you know, <laughs> so you are, you are everything for us today. Now, Nutri-V, blue, and um, for blue, blue, blue and pink, all of them contain the same ingredients, every ingredient that you saw there. But for the blue, they, they, they build it more, of long reach and more of the supplements that will make you healthy. But for the pink, they made it more of the supplements that will help you lose weight, help you fight hormonal issues and the rest. Now, every of the Nutri V Blue, I advise is good to prevent, it helps to prevent chronic diseases. Why? Because of the constituents in it. You have, um, you saw that they spoke, they, they, uh, it included spinach, it included kale, it includes um, brown rice, it includes sweet potatoes, it includes tomatoes, and all these ingredients are advisable in the hospital for you to take if you have diabetes, ulcer, and look, just like Dr. Heidi said, it is 100% organic, no preservative. Now, the difference is someone said, okay, how can I use it for treatment or for curative? Like I said, long reach products never replaces the need for you to take your doctor's prescription. Never, ever, ever. The idea, very, please, let's really point that out. Now, when you are taking it for hypertension, for diabetes, because it's do always take your drugs, always. But I always put this, please, when you are taking them, always also check your blood pressure if you're hypertensive continuously, your blood sugar if you're diabetic, because the ingredients in the food, um, in Nutri-V can want to reduce your blood sugar and also the your, your anti-diabetic drug will reduce your blood sugar so that you don't get to have hypotension. So when you are taking these ingredients, be sure that you are consistently monitoring your blood sugar, your hypertension. Someone asks for stroke. They are food. It's not a supplement. I tell people, if you have the money, please include it. Someone also asks, can Nutri-V be taken for, uh, for a patient that had, is passing through dialysis during fibroid. Now, what is dialysis? Dialysis simply means that you are washing your kidney. Someone is washing a kidney during kidney damage. Do you understand? Like from hypertension, diabetes, or any form of disease, the person has kidney damage. So dialysis is the process of washing the kidney, literally from waste, from electrolytes, and it continues for a, for a person with kidney failure. And those kind of individuals have restricted amount of food. Please take Nutri-V to your doctor and say, doctor, please, can I take this? Mm -hmm. I would not say I recommend or I don't recommend because you, the, why you have diabetes or you have hypertension can only be told by your doctor that have walked through the history examination with you. Because, um, for people that have diabetes, sometimes they tell you do not take too much potassium, sorry, too much protein, too much this, too much that, and they can, you can take this, you can take that, and all of these ingredients are both contained, the do and the don't ingredients that you can take during dialysis, if you are, if you are a patient undergoing dialysis are all in Nutri-V. So please, really, really, really take it to your doctor so that your doctor can see. Now, okay, so for berry oil, we'll have to carry that question over 
to next 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 episode we'll not tell you when okay so dr id here's a question for you can children take nutri v blue um i will say depending on the age yes depending on the age yes now the reason i also advise this is um, i don't administer anything apart from normal food i don't administer anything to the child without having to pass through a pediatrician now the juvie food is natural or organic and everything but for a child below five some of those elements may not be needed for that child. So Nutri-V contains all those things that can provide both trace, macro, macro, call them elements. There are some that children do not need. There are some that they even have excess of at a certain age. So I will strongly say hold down first. Now I gave my child Nutri-V blue when he was a lot younger. I think it was just about three or four. And I gave that to him because he, was, he wasn't eating. He was extremely low on everything, immunity and all of that. So I administered it, but I monitored it. And I also took permission from his pediatrician. So I gave him Nutribi Blue and I gave him Cardiceps and that really did boost his immune system and it actually gave him a lot of defense. So you need to speak to a pediatrician to give, a, give anything to a child, literally. 100% organic, so it's like food, but then you need to know, especially the blue, it's got a lot that a child may not need. Children don't just start losing, even though yes, as um, once you're born, your, your cells literally starts renewing, you know, but you don't just start losing nutrients at that age. And so we need to be monitoring it. That's my strong advice. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, Dr. Yudi. So many questions here for you. Please, is the baby cream for dark skin only? I, because I am using it for my son that is fair and is making him dark. Can I use the baby body wash and cream for my kids? They are light skin. That's for Dr. Udwak. So let's hear you. Okay. Um, now when 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 we walk through the, the ingredients that we that are in, in this product, it has shown that it's for both dark skin and for fair skin. There's really no predilection for if it's dark or well, for a fair skin. For me, my baby is fair, okay? It's on the fair side, all right? And his skin has been maintained. There is not getting darker, it's not getting um, fairer than, as, than it's supposed to be. So it's both for, um, for dark and for fair skin. White skin. Amazing, amazing. So that's a good one. Yes, it's it's meant for every skin type. Just like um the baby um, the salt cream, you know, that you get to use it after a while, it gets to darken your skin before it makes your skin brighter. The same thing with um, I think with the baby cream. But uh, why is that? Because our body has been exposed to melanin. Literally, we have so many, so much melanin in our skin because we are dark skin people. And the sun is always increasing the melanin production, which is good for our color. So when we are getting this, this, um, this new um, drugs, sorry, this new cream on our skin, it's gonna take a while. So don't just expect magic. I rub today, it's maintained today. Please, can we apply continuous use and be consistent in the use of this product for our babies? Now, I think we're gonna be bringing this to a close, people. Can a lactating mother use Nutri-V Blue Berry Oil and Pink? See, Dr. Ivy, okay. what do you have to say? The <laughs> questions are just coming in. Like, really? Okay. They don't want okay. us to All go. Right. All right, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, we we're actually supposed to do this for an hour, 30 minutes. We've done this for ah. two hours. The question, see, we're here for four weeks. So save your questions related to the products and bring. But let me just do the summary. And I beg you, there are just some things that you shouldn't ask as a question. Somebody is asking if a lactating mother can take pink tea. Wait for the session of the teas. Do you know what pink tea will do to your baby? There's some things you cannot take. Just wait and finish the breastfeeding. And then you can do whatever you want to your system. You understand, pink tea is for weight loss. 
Do you want your child to lose weight as well? You're feeding the child, you're breastfeeding. Please, let's be careful on the kind of things we ask. And I've seen so many questions like, what can treat, what can treat, what can treat? No language product can treat anything. I have you carefully avoided those, those questions. Carefully avoided them. And you get any result that looks to you like treatment. Number one, it is your belief or your faith that healed you. Number two, it is very likely your self-healing system activated from the products. Our bodies are meant to fight things and heal themselves. So it's very likely that maybe there was something that was deficient that you took in and it gave your body the energy it needed to fight something. But no longer which product can treat. The only treatment you would receive is at the hospital. If you're using language products, if you don't want to be going to hospital to treat, go preventive with language products. If you have a condition and it is mild, not severe, and you want to use language products to see if your body can kick in the self-healing system, you go ahead. But please, let's stop with this whole treatment, treatment, treatment. We do not have products that treat in long reach. We do not. And everybody that keeps sharing those whole prescription and diseases things I see flying around in chat room, it's wrong. We have no right to prescribe for diabetes. We have no right to prescribe for hypertension. No, these are things that could help. They could manage. But you cannot stop your medical treatment for any reason. And we've seen situations where people advise diabetics, hypertensives to stop their medication and they stopped and their blood pressure shot over the roof, their blood sugar shot over the roof. That's not fair. You're not a doctor. You're not a medical doctor. I can't even prescribe. I'm not a medical doctor. I simply tell you, see a physician, see someone who's certified to prescribe, someone who has, who knows all the cautions, the precautions to take. So please, let's be careful. Regarding the baby set, I can probably say this. Let me ask what Dr. Yudi has said. We have the best set of product when it comes to the baby set. My daughter is fair. My, my light skin, my son is dark skinned and it works for both of them amazingly. Like they literally, the products work very well for the two of them. Their skin complexion is well maintained. So there's nothing like darkening. If you start the baby cream, after a while of using other products for your child, there's likely a likelihood that those products had made your baby lighter, but that's not your baby's natural complexion. Give the baby cream time. It will heal or cushion, correct all the effects or defects of the other products and then start doing its work. The same thing with our other creams like the other speakers have said. Okay, so it looks like we actually lost um, Dr. Esther. Let me see if he's uh, back. Uh, Okay, she's not back here now. Okay, all right, so we'll wait for her to, to come back. Um, so please, all the questions that have to do with um, any products we haven't treated, please wait. We have more products um, to be treated next week, Friday, and subsequently. So we pray that we crave your indulgence to be patient. I'm also scrolling through and I haven't seen any more questions relating to the topic of tonight. Um, so if we've missed your question, uh, or Dr. Yud, if you've seen any question that relates, you can please, um, someone asked if we have diabetes test strips. We don't have diabetes test strips, please. Sorry, we don't. Um, we don't have diabetes um, test strips. Um, um, Dr. Yud, I yeah. just want to, I just want to really emphasize on what you have said also, because I've been in the clinic recently and someone came to me and a, and an elderly lady, okay, she's hypertensive and uh, also diabetic. And I asked her, your blood pressure is very high. What's happening? Have you not been taking your drugs? Mm -hmm. And she said to me that she has been taking her drugs. And I'm like, it's not possible that you're taking your drugs and your BP is this very high. Okay, let me see the drugs. Did you come with it? And then she, 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 she showed me supplements. Everything was supplement. And she said it was sold to her that uh, when once she takes it, the BP is going to come down. So I, I just want to emphasize on all our our partners, our distributors, please, let's desist from, you know, we need to lecture these people very well because uh, I think it's, it's not going to do you well or you won't have that conscience. Your conscience won't be okay with you if someone is hypertensive and you're selling a supplement that will not lower the blood pressure. You can as well just educate the person that this is a supplement. It's in addition to your blood pressure drugs. You can take this as well. It will also help you so that this person will not abandon the antihypertensive 
and now be taking just supplements, which will, which will not may not lower the blood pressure. So I'm just emphasizing on what Dr. Ivy has said that let's not take all, oh, it's not all the ailments that come to us that we want to treat. We need to sometimes you need to refer them to a doctor or someone else to see, and then um, the right prescription can be made. Okay, that's what I have to I have to add. I think Dr. Dr. Esther is back with us. Okay, Dr. Esther. Um, yes. <laughs> yes, I'm back. Okay, well, Next up, just log. Dr. Udwag and Dr. ID, can we bring this to a close? Yes, we can. Yes, we, can. we should. We should. We, have, we, have we doctor, should. Uh, we have some other doctors, so they can just say a word for a minute or two, and then we yes. can. Bring yes. Yes. So I want to just do that. We have our other panelists for the next three weeks. So can we just have them say a word with us? Let's start with, um, we have Pharmacy Joy Rich on the call. Let's have her say a, say a word, an introduction. Hi, on the call. We also have Dr. Agatha, our star director on the call. So let her say hi. Please, if we're on the call, let's say hi. Okay, please, can you raise your hands, panelists? We can't see your name. It's only the ones that have their names, um, the name on the section. Their names not using their full name, yes. Did this, did you Dr. Clifford, you're here as well, right? Please, are the panelists still here? Yes, good evening, everybody. Good evening, Doc. Good evening, Doctor. We'll be having you soon in one of the episodes. Dr. Agatha, I think she just went out. She's no longer on the call. Pharmacy Jerry was here. But very large, we're going to have everyone on the call next week. We're going to be having amazing people join us here. Doctor, Dr. Clifford is on the call. He's about he's talking. Okay. Dr. Clifford, you're muted. Okay, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, this was an exciting session. Okay. We can see you now. You can see you now. Okay. All right, Dr. Clifford. Um, we I guess we'll introduce you more next week. Um, if uh, Dr. Esther, you can go ahead now. You can go ahead. Okay, I think that's all the panelists we have. So we'll see you all next week. Thank you so much for joining in. And please, I hope you I hope you took a lot of notes. And all the notes you take, make sure you go back and teach this to your team members. Go back and share this with your prospects. And let them know that the money they are using to join the business is not just gone. They are getting valuable healthcare products, household utensils, in the place of this thing. So, amazing, amazing, the unique, amazing section. And people are asking how can I get the recorded version? You could also get it on Facebook. We have it like on Facebook, a lot of our watch watch facilities. You could also be on get the recorded one in the next 24 hours, the link will be sent to you. Thank you so much. You can now take a bow all the panelists. Please take a bow. The light is Facebook link. Good night. You can Facebook link. Good night. 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 Good night.